how to bounce files in Logic Pro X. Hey guys, I'm Charles Klein, indie musician and producer. So if you are also an indie musician, you're a producer, you're making music and you wanna market your music, then consider subscribing because these are all the videos I make and this channel is for you. So let's talk about how to bounce, bounce, um, how to bounce files in Logic Pro X. Not to be confused, okay, there's bouncing and there's exporting. Bouncing means, um, let's get into it. So bouncing is like, you can bounce the entire session of your song into an MP3 or WAV file. So we would say I'm bouncing as an MP3 or I'm bouncing as a WAV file. We can also do something called bounce in place where we'll get into Logic now and we'll just bounce a track and bounce it in place. So it just creates another track in our Logic session um, where we can have the same track as a different file. Then we'll touch on the end of exporting and what is exporting. So first though, let's get on to how to bounce files in Logic Pro X. And I'm gonna bounce this as an MP3 and WAV file right now. So how I like to bounce is I like to get my cycle range, this yellow bar, exactly where I want the song to start and exactly where I want to start for the song to end. So I know for a fact that I want the song coming in bar three and then I go to the end here and I want the song to go right to the end because I've done a little small fade out on the master here on the automation. You can see it fades out here and it goes right to this little nick. I'm gonna go command B or you can also go file bounce and you can say bounce project or section. And you can see there it was command B. Now I'm in the bouncing window. PCM is a WAV file, MP3 is an MP3 file. You can do both at the same time if you want. M4A CC, I actually don't know what that is. And burn to CD, um, well, I'm not gonna burn it to CD. But let's do WAV. So let's go PCM, file format WAV, resolution 24 bit. Uh, usually you're fine with 24 bit unless you've maybe imported something with a higher bit rate, you might not want to mix down so much. Sample rate 44100 is fine. I mean, I guess that's 44,100. I don't know why I said 44100. File type interleaved, dithering none. Then you can see the start and end. And this, these are the exact bars of where the cycle range is. So I can leave it at this because I've put the cycle range there. Mode offline, um, include the audio tail and normalize off. Keep normalize off if you decide you want to do on or pro overload protection only. Make sure you have a listen afterwards just to make sure everything is the same. Without a doubt, when you bounce something, always have a listen to it afterwards. Okay, brings up a finder window. We can save it to anywhere we want. Change the name to where whatever you want, uh, what you want, and then click bounce. Do the exact same thing. If you want to go MP3, just click this off click wave off mp3 so bit rates 80 80 is fine these are defaults by the way and you're likely just okay with the defaults so don't worry about changing much of this at all press okay again finder when it comes up change it to your name and bounce it always take a listen at the end because perhaps you did something wrong with these bounce settings so you may have to go in and change them that's how to bounce files in logic pro x okay how do you bounce in place now Bouncing in place is something I do often in a project if I want to create a new file of a different audio track. So for example, let's just dig into this sample section here. We have the wasted vocal sample and I want to just create one new fresh new audio file of these regions. I can click and highlight these regions, go control B on my keyboard and then I'm going to see bounce in place. So I can all keep these as default again. Um, you can rename the track. You can, the, the destination is a new track, source. Um, that means the source, which is this these current regions, just leave them. You have the option to mute them. You can bypass the effects if you want. I uh, don't want to bypass the effects. And keep overload protection only, and then press OK. Now I have a fresh new audio file, which is the exact same as this one. 
but it's just a brand new audio file so I can do things to this audio file that won't affect any of these regions. So I can go and, for example, reverse this. That's how to bounce files in place in Logic Pro X. Now, what is exporting and how does it differentiate between bouncing, right? Aren't they the same thing? You're pretty much getting things out of Logic. And yeah, pretty much they are the same way, same thing in a way. I'm not actually sure like the exact terminology of the differences, but I know bouncing means like you're taking the whole entire Logic project and you're bouncing as a wave or bouncing as an MP3. Exporting is like you can export certain things within the project. So you want to export stems or you want to export regions or MIDI tracks or audio tracks, certain things inside the session and not the entire session. So how do you do that? Well, I have another video actually on that on how to export stems. So I won't get into that, but you would go file and then you need export here. So for example, if I just want this electric guitar track, go here, file, export, and then you could do any of this, but typically you might go one track as audio file where it's gonna take that entire track from the start of the session. So it would start here where the cursor is, and then we would go all the way to the end of the project session. And it would just make an all, a new audio track of this entire thing. So all these three regions, this is a summing stack. You could take a summing stack and go to the summing stack, highlight and go file, export one track but because this is a summing stack, it's going, to do, it's going to export all these together. In a comment, let me know if you don't understand what bouncing is or exporting, and I'll try to explain it again in the written word. Please subscribe to this channel because I do make a lot of videos on music production, music creating, songwriting, and I hope to see you in the next video.